Hey folks, it's Ben. Welcome to a dual channel release. I'm going to put this on the awesome 230, uh, Turbo 231 site and the Red Barn Homestead site just because it's more of a mechanical video, so I've got a mechanical machine here. Uh, I've got my Singer sewing machine. If you, For the Turbo 231 fans, uh, I've got a whole series of me taking care of this thing. Long story short, I plan to sell it, so um, I'm not going to have the explosive breakdown that I was kind of planning on, but we need to oil it. It's a lot of mechanicals in this thing. Just by looking at the base, you can tell I released the latch here. There's a lots of cams and stuff like that that are kind of interesting. So what I'm going to do is strip this unit down. It's got, it's made of cast iron, but it does have a plastic top, plastic front here, and then the underneath that needs lubrication. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video, take all the tops off, come back to it, so it'll be like I undressed it. So I'm going to snap my fingers, and then it'll be awesome. Okay. This thing is beyond my dreams of awesomely cool steampunk type of awesome. <laughs> this thing is amazing. Uh, it's got a huge camshaft in it, lots of gears, and uh, just a lot of mechanical movement. So let's take, I'm going to de-strip the camera here off the uh, tripod. And let's take a closer look at this machine here. Um, so the main drive belt is here, and that, of course, actually spins towards me n normally. Can you please focus on that camera? Thank you. Um, and it powers this large shaft down the center of the machine. Now, as you can see, there is a, a throw here and an oil point. And you can download the manual off the internet and kind of explains where you need to lubricate, obviously. And so that's the front end of the machine. And then on the top end, obviously, uh, anywhere there's a hole, essentially, you need to drop some oil. They use Singer oil. I'm going to be using uh, just an electrical motor oil. Uh, but anything that moves, you need to oil it <laughs> and make sure it's clean. You need to oil the little hole here for the main bearing there. You need to oil the hole there. Focus, please. Um, for this uh, connecting rod here, you need to oil and clean the cam that's here. You need to oil any part that moves up here, which includes this pivoting part, this pivoting part, that pivoting part. Coming over here, you need to lubricate this one. And this one as they do technically move. I'll shoot another video on the exact operation of everything in here. You need to lubricate that because it moves. You need to lubricate this sled because if you change your width it moves too. You also need to lubricate on top because this also moves. You need to lubricate in this hole here because that lubricates this main bearing. Uh, you need to lubricate everything in the front. So that includes this here, um, the up and down motion here on this shaft. Uh, on both places, you need to lubricate this shaft here where it interfaces. So that would be here and up here as a guide. And then anything that rotates up here needs a shot of oil. So you can see all these little arms, which are much happier now with oil, need to have a drop of lubrication put on of them. The manual says if you use this every day, you need to lubricate it every day. So it's one of those hardcore, really get to it machines. So just about everything on the front that moves, the chart says it shows the oil points here. So if you download the manual for your specific one, and also it was showing me the main bearing holes uh, that are here, uh, here, um, for this mechanism that's up here as well. And uh, there's probably a lubrication, which I probably missed uh, on the bobbin driver here. This is a little stiff, so I bet you it needs oil too. Um, I got to lubricate that right there. So that's for the top end of the machine. Uh, I'm about to open up the bottom right now. Now the bottom of the machine has <laughs> a lot more points to oil than the top actually. If you look at every little drop of oil here, um, it's everywhere. And it's more of a cam action down here than it is anything else. All right, so everything's lubricated. And how I did it was this. I started from this end of the machine and worked my way over. Um, so we've got an oil point that's here, an oil point that's here. Inside, there's an oil point right there from where uh, this little cam moves back and forth, so that's got to be lubricated. Um, the shaft here needs to be lubricated um, because there's something that, that spins on that one there. Let's see if we can get you to focus on me. Thank you. Um, there's an oil point right there because this shaft spins that you see right here. There's also an oil point right there and right here, and right here, <laughs> that need to be oiled. Up here, you've got to get that shaft, because it rocks. Um, there's a cam right here you need to lubricate. Uh, I also lubricate this, even though it's a back and forth motion, kind of slightly rocks, but um, that needs to be lubricated right there. This is a moving point, that needs to be lubricated. 
Um, there's actually an oil well here for this shaft that goes through and you also need to lubricate this one and this one and there that is actually in a cam again so you need to lubricate the shaft on either side that's here this little cam here because you can definitely see it moving right that all needs to be lubricated um, then down here of course there's this uh, shaft here this shaft here coming over to the shaft over here that shaft here <laughs> uh, and uh, the bearing that I don't know if I pointed out that one there as well that pretty much covers everything that moves on the base of this thing um, so when you're powering the unit you can see it's not that it's rotating except for the bobbin and that actually goes back and forth but it's just subtle rocking of the machine as it's pulling and pushing on things so that's the lower end that you need to lubricate with a, like I say a light oil they say Singer machine oil um, but apply a drop to each place as indicated and like I said there's a lot anything that moves kind of type of thing so that's it that's the daily maintenance required for this singer uh, fashion mate unit it's awesome and I'm about to shoot a video right now uh, explaining every lever and every cam and what goes on there but this is the quick and dirty on how to get your machine ready to run during the day if you got any questions please leave a comment uh, Subscribe to my channel, either Turbo231 or Red Barn Homestead for more videos like this one here. Um, and uh, if you have, like I said, questions, like our channel, leave a comment. That'd be great. You guys have a good day.